All right, welcome to the fifth video in the AMD Radeon Pro Render for Autodesk Inventor Quick Start video series. This one's going to cover the final render output. So before we get going, just want to very quickly clarify if you do or if you have come across this uh, render settings option. This doesn't affect the final render output. These settings are just for the viewport. So if you do find your PC is a little bit sluggish, you can uh, change these settings that affect the viewport only, but they don't affect the render output that we're doing right now. So go on over to the render environment. And we're only going to be interested in the static render output for this one. Uh, we're keeping it quick and simple. So it's this first option here, render highlighted in blue. To keep things simple, the first thing you want to do is make sure you've got your camera composition actually. So go back over to the main viewport and then get your camera sort of angled to the point where you think, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with the position. So if that's the angle that you, you'd want the final image to be taken from, then leave the camera set there because the render is going to be taken from wherever the camera is currently fixed at. And you can take the render from either using the orthographic camera or the perspective camera. Uh, I tend to use the orthographic camera at the moment. Go back over to the render environment. And then you've got the settings in the panel below. The settings themselves I tend to leave them as default for the first pass, see what the first pass is like, and then change the settings afterwards based on what the first pass comes out like. I do find that the default size of 800 by 600, which is the actual image output, the size of the photo, it's static, it's not really a photo, but you know what I mean, the actual render output, it's a bit small. So I change that to 1920 by 1080, and then save it out to your desktop, just select the little three dots, and then drop, it doesn't have to be a desktop, but just make sure you select a folder, that you can render the file out to, give it a name, and then select your render device. This is the device in your workstation that's gonna be used to, to create the render, whether it's your graphics card or your CPU. If you've got a good graphics card, use GPU. If you don't have a good graphics card, use CPU. I can't really give you much more on that at this point, because I don't know who I'm talking to. But then we've got some more options, enable AI denoiser. I have mixed results with this, but I would just enable that either way. And then the rest of the settings, like I say, I would keep them as default until you see what the first result is like. Select render, and then we'll wait for this render to finish. And there it is. There's the render all done and dusted. Now you can see if I just zoom in to the to the top, there was a little bit of noise coming through at, at the top there. There was, I think they call them fireflies. So there is an option in the render settings called clamp fireflies. And this is the, the glossy reflections. There's also a setting that affects glossy reflections. So this is where you start just changing and tweaking some of the settings, increase the values, and you'll start to see some of this noise, some of these artifacts slowly disappear. And then in future, you won't make the mistake again. You'll, you'll know what settings to apply straight from the get-go, and then you'll get your render correct right away rather than having to do a trial and error workflow. By the way, it's pretty decent render a set of default settings so yeah i'd go back to the settings change those re-render check it again re-render check it again and that's the workflow i would tend to follow so that's your render output from pro render for autodesk inventor thanks very much that's the series of quick start videos keep tuned or stay tuned to tfi because in the future i'm going to be doing more coverage of pro render as it's hopefully further developed i'm going to be involved with that uh, with AMD. So I'll be releasing further videos on that as and when I can. So yeah, get note, get subscribed, hit the notification bell for future videos when they come out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Toodles. <laughs>